bubble zones in Ontario. Why? Hello, today is the feast day of the birth of St. John the Baptist, June the 24th, 2017. As a pro-life advocate, I wish to speak to all Canadians about bubble zones. Just behind me here at 65 Bank Street in Ottawa is a Morgan Teller abortion clinic where pre-born babies are brutally killed. Plans are presently underway to pass a law to have bubble zones at abortion clinics and hospitals throughout Ontario. On behalf of all the babies in the wombs who cannot speak for themselves, who cannot defend themselves. I make a plea for life, for them. I address myself to Mr. Yasir Nefke, the Attorney General of Ontario, to Jim Watson, the Mayor of Ottawa, to Charles Bordelot, the Chief of Police, and to all MPPs in the Government of Ontario, and to every Canadian. Sarah Winter, a pro-life advocate who protests daily against abortion in front of the abortion clinic just behind me. He walks back and forth behind the bike and the tree that you see there. The bubble zone controversy started after Sarah Winter was falsely accused by a Toronto Star journalist named Heather Malik. In an editorial of April, on April 19, 2017, she portrayed Cyril as a man who spits and verbally abuses the woman who passed near him as they entered the door to the abortion clinic. I urge all Canadians to demand to see the videos owned by the abortionist at 65 Bank Pier and they will see proof that the hate comes not from Cyril Winter, but from the public and those that are going into the clinic to kill their preborn child. Cyril is the victim of the hate. I personally know Cyril, Cy as we call him, very well. I have spent time in the past protesting on this very spot with him on Bank Street against abortion. Cyril does not hate, he loves. Cyril has a great love for God and all human beings. That is why he stands outside the abortion clinic with his signs silently praying. We Canadians should thank God that Cyril has the heart and the courage to be as an angel of life. Standing about a dozen feet away from the entrance, we're going to hold just a second here, the bus is just behind me. I repeat, Cyril is standing about a dozen feet away from the entrance to the door of the chamber of death upstairs at 65 Bank. Cyril's silent presence with his graphic sign such as I have on me is a last final appeal to the parents that have decided to kill their baby. Some parents did not enter into the chamber of death. They turned around and their baby survived. Their baby lived because of Cyril's death. His sign, which are similar to mine, they show the horrific reality of how pre-born babies are aborted. This is one example right here. 
Malachi. That poor baby never made it out. He was torn apart piece by piece at five months of age. The most common method of abortion is called suction and cure abortion in the first trimester of pregnancy between 5 and 13 weeks. If you look here, you're going to see how the doctor takes a powerful suction tube and starts it into the woman. And the baby is literally shredded to bits. And the remains go into a jar. You can see the arms, the legs, the pieces of the body here, torn and torn to shreds, like a paper shred. Another method of abortion is called dilation and evacuation. This one here. This represents 10% of the abortions the suction method represents 90% of the abortion. In the dilation and evacuation, as you can see here, the baby is torn apart piece by piece. An arm, a leg, pieces of the torso, and then finally the head. Abortion is the worst form of terrorism. Why do I call it abort terrorism? Because it's worse than even what Islam Jihad does throughout the world. As horrific as that is. Here the baby is slowly torn apart. Like Abortism occurs behind closed doors, out of sight, it's a silent holocaust. I prefer a more realistic name, not an abortion thing, I rather call it the chamber of death. Yes, the killing is done out of sight, but let me tell you, and no one will like to hear this, God is watching, and God's word says in Hebrews 9.27, it is appointed unto men once to die. And after this, it said, Hebrews 9, 27. This warning is for anyone and everyone who kills or cooperates in allowing Ivor terrorism to continue. Remember that on your personal day of judgment, by Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Your cooperation to establish bubble zones in order to remove the angels of life, such as Cyril Winter, from being close to abortion clinics, will be held against you. Now, the question of safety, which is the reason given for the bubble zone, to protect the abortion staff and their customers. Their lives are not at risk. Cyril Winter has been protesting for over four and a half years outside the abortion center. Every move he makes is captured on video by the clinic. Believe me, had Cyril been a physical threat to anyone's safety, he would have been removed from their pronto. The issue of safety needs to be focused 
on the preborn child. He or she is the one in need of a bubble zone. Yes, a bubble zone. That bubble zone is the law that will recognize the humanity of the preborn child and make it illegal for anyone to kill it. Canadians, we must protect the preborn child from aborterism. Every human life Every human life, such as this baby at three months gestation, this is the size of them, two and a half inches. Every human life is unique and precious. Those already born and those in the womb. We are all created in the image of God. In first Genesis, verse 27, 28, God's word says, and God created man to his own image. To the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. And God blessed them, saying, Increase and multiply and fill the earth. God is a God of love and life. We are born to love God and one another. We are not born to kill one another. I ask you, do you love God and your neighbor, the one who you can't yet see? Yes, the one in the womb. Or do you reject God and kill your neighbor? in the womb. Does your worldview bring life or death? Be careful. This life continues after our death. I repeat, this life continues after our death. There is a heaven and a hell. Heaven for those who love. Hell for those who hate and kill. I pray that you will choose life for the unborn child and not rest until we have a bubble zone, a law that will guarantee life to the pre-born babies in the womb. Thank you for listening. God bless you. And please, forward this video to all of your friends and all 